फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अंडरस्टैंडिंग करंट अफेयर्स इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस दिस इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी लिसन टू अलॉट ऑफ न्यूज एंड वी रीड अलॉट ऑफ न्यूज पेपर्स एंड आर्टिकल्स एडिटोरियल्स एंड अदर्स बट वी जस्ट गो बाय गॉसिप्स एंड बाय रूमर्स एंड वी डोंट अंडरस्टैंड that what is the real message in any uh, current affairs or international affairs or uh, state affairs or any news or any political development so today my focus is that we must understand international relation theories now for current affairs current the word current is misnomer here because current is not only current but also its past the current or present and future the history what is going on now and what will be the future uh, perspectives or what will be the future developments so for any person who is interested in politics national politics international politics or he is or she is a student or participating in any uh, event like political event or appearing in any exam we must understand that international politics is a phenomena we must understand it for understanding international relations or current affairs we should know that there are many theories to understand that like realism in realism state is important state is the unit of international relations like in the world we have around 200 states who are members of united nations now this state is important the security of this state is important the national interest of the state is important so for the survival of the state the state must concentrate in its own national interests before we interfere or we uh, talk or we take interest in the affairs of other states our own self help that is important so this is realism real politic now for example many people think uh, like uh, what is going on in other states in other countries so realism says that you must focus concentrate on your own state once you are strong and you are out of the struggle of survival of the fittest then you can take part and you can become a power and then there will be balance of power like there is one power and another power and both will try to maintain the power so there will be balance and there will be no chaos there will be no anarchy at the result if each uh, state is strong so there will be no anarchy pakistan and india if both pakistan and india are strong so there will be balance of power if united states russia or other uh, powers in the world they are strong so there will be balance of power so realism is not something inhuman or something very bad but realism is that you must take care of your own self then you can uh, take care of others uh this the other concept in contrast to this is idealism and in one sense liberalism so liberals for example what do you uh, like uh, uh, prefer for uh, to uh, for yourself the same you should think of others for example poverty alleviation if that is one of your uh, state agenda so you should also alleviate poverty in the world in other countries so idealism in that our liberalism united nations must be strong international organizations must be strong and then we have constructivism that some ideas are very important social identities are very important one idea can shape international relations or international politics and can change current affairs so constructivism so we have a lot of theories international relation theories now we take pakistan as an example so pakistan is a state the history of pakistan is important how pakistan came into being now today pakistan in 21st century is a state if we want to understand pakistan we must understand its geopolitical situation where pakistan is situated like in constructivism 
an idea for example the build up of arms in uh, india will be very important for pakistan but it will be not important for example for canada or for for example for estonia or any Scandi scandinavian country because they don't care but we are in the region so we should understand the, the region now to uh, in realism pakistan must be strong india must be strong so there will be balance of power but in idealism or liberalism sark the south asian regional cooperation organization that must be strong if sark is strong so it will uh, like give uh, development to the whole region and in the whole region will be peaceful but realism says that no democratic peace if there is democracy in india and there is democracy in pakistan so there will be peace between the two countries then the uh, the understanding of pakistan its geopolitical uh, position iran afghanistan china so the all the uh, the interaction of all the forces and then in uh, constructivism economic development are interdependence that is very important why china and pakistan should ha will have good relations why because of economic benefits china will give pakistan will give china will take pakistan will take so this will be give and take now to understand uh, this is not like uh, for example there is a charity in international relations the people will do good things for uh, good although in liberalism and idealism the good human nature that is important that if we have good values and we have good ideas so the world will be a peaceful place but realism says that no real politic if you are strong the other will be strong and then both strong will make a balance and there will be peace so we have to interpolate we have to extrapolate all these uh, concepts to understand the uh, current affairs uh, regional organizations are very very important like eco economic cooperation organization the only purpose the main purpose that is economics now culture that is also important for example we have high politics and low politics high politics is just security politics wars you know political development strategic development we build up armies defense and low politics is culture economics education so uh, to understand all these things now pakistan has an image problem pakistan is a country of 220 million people human resources a strong country smart people heavy people they are doing a lot you know industry our textile products uh, surgical instruments uh, our uh, food security everything is all right but what is there the soft power the image you know sometimes your bad name is uh, worse than uh, the, the evil itself so the notoriety if you are notorious so people may not go perception is larger than reality so we should make our perception better in the world and for that soft image uh, our and better image of pakistan that is very important and for that cultural diplomacy now diplomacy which is like building international relations can be on politics economics and culture sometimes we ignore the cultural part so that is also important now uh, for example if you want to go in details of constructivism so any idea of pakistan any creative idea or social identity of pakistan or pakistanis that is important pakistan is a symbol like for example indian food is very popular in the world but we don't see like pakistani restaurants many pakistanis are running um, uh, their restaurants and indian names why because india has an image the same image is important in constructivism for pakistan once our brains uh, accept that uh, reality and that identity then pakistan will become a successful nation uh, in the cooperative nations in the world if we go uh, like uh, who are the international organizations which are very very successful so for me there are only two european union and asean we must understand european union the working of european union and asean as two uh, examples now for example what the socio economic problems within the country if pakistan is fighting for illiteracy like the people are illiterate in 220 million people if 100 million people they are illiterate so then 
this human resources that will become a liability, not an asset. So education, educated society, that is very important for democratic development. So all these things are interconnected. If we understand the social fabric of a society, we must go, for example, to the cultural activity. What is going on in a theater, you can understand uh, from the activity of the theater, you can understand the mentality or the psyche of the whole nation. Now, uh, transportation, the, the interconnectedness of different regions. For example, if a person like uh, we have the CPEC project, uh, comes from Gilgit, Baldistan, and goes to Karachi in a well-built road. So this road is a symbol of development. That is a material development. And then in the non-state actors, state is important, but in liberalism or idealism, non-state actors are also important. NGOs are international NGOs, terrorists, uh, those people who want to sabotage the state, they are against the state. Because if the state is strong, so the non-state actors will be not that strong. But the non-state actors working for the development, poverty alleviation, education, health, and other socio-economic issues, they are contributing toward the, the overall development of the state. So that is again uh, a very, very important thing. So understanding uh, current affairs, we should uh, understand that how the, the, the things they like uh, emerge. For example, Palestine issue. The other day, Modi, the Prime Minister of India, he was in uh, Israel. So this is the national interest. We should not blame India or the Prime Minister that why he is going to Israel. Israel is the only democracy in the only developed state in Middle East, we should uh, uh, like think over it in constructivism. Maybe an idea clicks to someone and then we like other uh, uh, countries in the region, they should try to understand. So in a theoretical uh, situation, we should uh, try to be bold, creative minded, maybe idealist, liberal, and maybe realist at the same time. But in, when we talk about the Pakistan and its relations with the uh, current affairs or with the international relations, then our priority must be the state of Pakistan, the sovereignty of Pakistan that is important. Because on, if Pakistan will uh, make relations with other countries, so our own interest, that is very, very important. If you want to give a, a, a workable model to resolve any issue, any political issue or any international relations issue, so that must be based on all these theories that I uh, discussed. So uh, to understand the current affairs, we should go to the theories of international relations. International relations is one thing, international relation theory is another thing. So to understand conceptually, the conceptual framework for all uh, uh, these uh, like developments, international developments, national developments, making Pakistan as a model, as a state, uh, that we can relate it uh, with the world, you know, in the whole scenario of the world, with the globalization, the, the globalization, the internet uh, revolution, the social media. So we should have a complete picture, a holistic approach, that Pakistan is not like an ordinary state in the whole world, we can make it an example, we should connect Pakistan to the world, what is going on in the world, in the United Nations, uh, in the uh, European Union. Okay, SCO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization, that is very, very important because there we have two major powers, China and Russia, and then uh, Pakistan and India, they became the permanent members. You know, what will be the effect of this uh, membership on Pakistan? So, regional organizations, international organizations, state of Pakistan, then our relationship with all these, that is very, very important. So uh, this is my introductory lecture on current affairs, uh, international relations theories, and uh, then we will continue discussing uh, different um, concepts and different international developments and different uh, political and um, international problems and national problems. So a comprehensive approach is always, I repeat, understanding is important, not only knowledge, not only data, not only information. And understanding is that you can manipulate, you can play with your ideas, with your knowledge. 
the way you understand the reality of something. So this is my request that we should try to understand issues, not only having knowledge of those issues. Thank you.